I don't think people talk enough about how tough dating actually it is. is. It, it really is. is. It's very hard. I mean, not just to put yourself out there, but to to hope that one other person is going to accept that and love you for it and reciprocate it back. And you're just putting all your eggs in this one basket. And it's it's terrifying. And yeah. one point in the article said, you know, are you ready to like one of the questions was, or do you feel like you're resilient enough to face like rejection? And if you're yeah. not, maybe take a step back and kind of work on yourself a little bit. But that could happen at any time. So it's like, I don't know. It is. It's very tough. And I feel like we're both in a position now where we're like, OK, it was worth it. But getting there is. A well, challenge. yeah, I mean, even even, you know, there was many reasons why I was freaking out the first day of paradise this time. Mm -hmm. But I would say rejection being scared of rejection was definitely one of them because oh, I, sure. I, I had felt like, oh, I'm a veteran on this beach. Like I can't get like, what if I get Nobody shit? So like, yeah. So yeah, rejection stuff, rejection. I mean, anybody well, that says they well, yeah. enjoy rejection is lying <laughs> because it right. sucks. Right. Uh, but dating is tough enough anyways. And we've dated on national television. Yeah. So it's just yeah. a different level, but at any and I'm up for an award stage. for it. So clearly, right. clearly, I know clearly, what I'm doing out there. Clearly, it can be worth it. But one thing I wanted to ask you is, I mean, obviously, you don't have to worry about this at this point. But would you talk about mental health on a first date with someone? Yeah, yeah, I would. I would too. Yeah, I think I if it's if the if you're if you feel connected to the person, why not? I mean, just in. As long as you have like boundaries and know what you're comfortable. Yeah, I, I think I think you and I are pretty similar when it comes to we're, we're somewhat open books. Like mm -hmm. for me, and, that, and that's why um, I actually don't. I mean, I would talk to a therapist, but I don't because I pretty much just talk all the time, and, and right. I pretty much say how I feel. So if my brother or one of my friends or Serena like you know calls me, I will just start blabbing about how I how I. Um, feel so mm -hmm. if I'm on a first date and um, you know a, a couple cocktails in <laughs> <laughs> you you'll know everything about me in an hour well which... I feel like that's good though too to feel comfortable enough with someone to do that because I've dated someone before who I took anxiety medicine and he never even knew that I took anxiety medicine because I did not feel comfortable enough to talk about it with him because I felt like he would judge me. And with Taylor, Taylor's like, girl, you need to call your therapist like today and get in and have a session. Cause I'm just so comfortable with him and know that he won't judge, judge me for that.